dragging me aside Oh, you're a constellation And I'm just a star Blinking in the universe But you'll never notice me Gaming Bets. We accept bets on computer games online since 2011. Referral system for regular users and the first deposit bonus. Gaming Devices Store and the best choice of payment systems. Dota 2 and Hearthstone, Counter-Strike and StarCraft, World of Tanks and League of Legends. EGB.com. You know for sure who's going to win. G2A.com. The best video game store ever. Fast as lightning. Solid as a rock! Cheap as duck! <laughs> What's more, you can sell on it because it's also a marketplace! Remember G2A.com! The best video game store ever! And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. The knife round is going on already. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> you see how the odds look for a zillion. Not promising, to say the least. Not promising at all. Oh, wow, he gets another one. That shouldn't have happened. I mean, the knife round will play its own different small role, you know. When a team wins a knife round, they can start on whichever side they favor. In case of Panthers, this is the CT side, which isn't that big of a, a surprise here. But it can also determine where this game can go. A few matches here and there have been 
formed and shaped by the first few rounds on the CT side. If you don't get yourself off to a good start, we were able to see that with Torpedo on overpass against Vex. They got five rounds in a row and suddenly you were able to see Vex is, uh, well, they got a little bit, yeah, they got upset. And SK could suffer the same fate against Pentas, the Norwegian squad is suffering the first loss though. SK with a bomb plant. The smoke is still there. The CTs get one player in from behind and somehow Freeze didn't figure out where he was being shot at from. Skirk with a kill. Magus covers the back. 4v3 now. Skirk goes down to Pim. Good job by Pimp again and a Cillian. What? It wasn't a Cillian. It was Pimp that got the kill. That would have been not mind bending but bullet bending. 1 to 0 nonetheless, SK with the lead. So yeah, the CTs with a P250 for Mark, the rest of the squad with 5 sevens except for Skirk with a deal. Trying to get something in their hands to fight back. But the terrorists don't let them. They are running for a long. Magus checks out a short for a second. Now what I don't necessarily uh, don't like, but also I kind of don't like it, is they leave uh, Modi behind so far that he's easy to be picked up. As well as Pimp, who is on his own. If he gets backstabbed by the CTs, this could be a free AK. Polling Company don't get a frag yet, but they are all around. Now, it seems with, this, with a kill onto, onto Polly. Not from behind, though, but Pim would have been able to put him down from behind, and now it's Mystic. He received 99 damage, and he can't get out of the bank anymore. There it is, a Cillian with the triple kill. So, Modi was left over here, and Pim initially was hanging out over there. He got back. Um, I think he went this route. Don't quote me on that one, though. But the fact that Modi was alone over there, the CTs, you know, with a quick execution, they could have overwhelmed him, done some damage, whatever. It's just leaving those players behind as long as they did. I know that you need to hold on to map control, but it can hurt you in the long time. And the CTs is, are doing a good job of setting up crossfires on the B bomb site. A full stack putt, Pimp, with the double grenade. Triple kill now for him. Magus with the UMP. And Mystic is on his own. He pulls back one frag. But it's been an, an expensive round for the terrorists. They managed to save those two AKs at least. Sometimes you don't have to make those rounds as costly as SK just did. They could have taken their time checking out if the CTs have a stack. The second uh, the second save round for the CTs is usually the weaker one. But SK just rushed into the B bomb site and that was quite risky in my opinion. Doesn't matter for now, they will do the same on the rifle round and the CTs completely oblivious to that. Pim just waves his mouse around, gets one kill with that move. But Mark retaliates and gets a double. Makes it a 4v3. Holly has some trouble here in the connector. Doesn't pick off Modi instantly. But Mark will do that onto a Zillion. Surprise him with that cheeky move of 1v2 though. Modi with another chance. He wasn't a 1v3. But he's about to be backstabbed by Skirk, who is racing to the help of his teammate. Paint is there, goes down. Skirk runs for the kill, but Modi is a little bit fast. He gets around another corner. Modi is running for his life, and he will still be killed in the end. The bomb, though, is taking quite fast. It's Well, it could explode in the face of Skirk. Yes, it will. He gives up the bomb, tries to save the orb, but doesn't. And SK win the round. Modi is running for the round win and that was really a good performance by him in a clutch situations he he didn't have the good situations in um, in Mirage he failed to win a few 1v2s but I mean can you even say he failed on a 1v2 he didn't really 
it was, you know, a 1v2, it, the odds are heavily stacked against you anyway. But, this time around, he won a 1v3, and that gives SK another round on the board, making it 4-0. to zero. The scoreline that we already saw earlier today in the first best of two. Pim the company focus on A now. They want to feel out how the CTs click over there. And Skirt clicks quite well. He gets a quick frag onto Pim. Freeze with double of the Uzi. Uh, not Uzi. It's a Mac 10. So he gets a lot of money for his orb. Should be able to pick that up. Oh, Pim? He's the... No. I was wondering. Because it looked like Freeze tossed the Mac-10 to Pimp and he wanted to stay with it, which wouldn't make sense at all. Panthers on the other side have two orbs now. One on B, one at A. The Terrorist with some quick play on A, then slowing down quickly as well. Statistic already checks out the fountain and picks off his ceiling over there. He's able to retreat. He sets up another frag, but that was a little bit too greedy. Magisk with the answer. Magisk under fire. He retreats, stays alive, and freezes there. He could get another frag. But Skirk, yeah, he knows the terrorists know where he is. So if he wanted to get back into safety, the distance would have been a little bit too far. And he didn't necessarily know if there were more terrorists around or around here. So, it could have been possible for the terrorists to pick him off on the retreat. Freeze and Mark keep trading frags. And it's a 3v3 on the B-bomb side. Pimp just runs into Pimp and he gets away as well. Doesn't though. Maga still gets the kill in the end. It's a 2v2 again. Quick shot by Polly, but doesn't hit. Sometimes being quick is not all. Still have to hit your target and Freeze is countering his counterpart. That was a good frag, but Skirk from behind will get rid of Magisk and Freeze. Has set up scope on... Well, he could defuse behind the bomb. Behind that... Oh, Freeze misses that shot! How could he miss that? Skirk is on the defuse and he will still be on it! Freeze doesn't get the kill and SK lose that round even though they fought their way back with Magisk on the double. Freeze on his own double. But in the end, Panthers managed to clutch it. Skirk from behind with a frag onto Magus, and Freeze ended up in an unfortunate position with not enough HP on top of that. So, Panthers with a not really a gift, but with a possibility to claw their way back. Will they capitalize on that one? SK still has enough money on three players, but two of them would probably go for something like a P250. Maybe even a Tech 9. They could get a drop. Depends on if they plant the bomb or save a weapon or something like that. He's sneaking his way closer to the A-bombs. So it doesn't spot anyone so far while Paint stays on B. Skirk still behind the smoke on A. Holds on to that together with Polly, his all player. The terrorists will focus on A for now. Skirk doesn't spot them though. Now he does. Pim catches a few bullets straight off the bat. Good job by Panthers. Running down the terrorist's life. If you don't see them, that's the best that you can hope for. The B bomb set is still not attacked by the terrorists and the auto director, you know, the auto director. I'm only human, I can only do so much. I will still rely on the auto director to take over in those big situations. Polly with the orb shot. Freeze ends up spotting Polly with an aid in his hand, and the deagle is quick to get the kill. 4v4 now. The terrorist will smoke off the bomb site. Pimp with a headshot. The time was about to run down on the terrorist, but the CT's in a retake. Mystic with the last bullet. Gets kill onto Freeze. Oh my god. I was talking too fast for the death. Moddy and Pimp with the last HP on the terrorist side. Moddy still fights for the round. He knows one is close. 7 HP remain for Skurk. He puts him down and gets another one. 
Marty with another triple kill and a 1v3. And SK make it 6 to 1. Somehow the Danes managed to win this round. What a chaotic start again. Freeze over here. Gets a kill with a deagle. Just threw that nade at Polly. Literally threw it at him. And then pulled out his deagle. Polly was a little desperate as well. He tried to get away, but didn't. In the end, it was the Dane that prevailed. And we have Freeze on the Uzi again. As soon as he dies, and he knows it's in the eco round, CTs will be picked off by his Mac 10. Terrorist on the other side with a bomb plant. Magus with a headshot on the bomb. Spot some more action on the outside. Skirk is on his own. Modi will not leave him alone anymore. He puts him to rest with his teammates. And it's 7 to 1 for SK Gaming. The odds on CS Go Lounge, one of our dear partners, are 81% in favor of SK and 19 in favor of London Conspiracy, aka Panthers. And you were able to see the EGB bats already. The CTs with no armor, only Skirk with the Deagle. And the terrorists will take it slowly. They knew they ran into trouble on one of the anti ecos They don't want to do that again. And Mark might be troublesome to them with his AK he captured. Magus is just on point today. Oh, Skurg is putting off some good shots as well. Has to cool off now that he's watching his only teammate paint against three terrorists. SK is even cleaning up the weapons very thorough. Freeze being tagged a little bit in trouble. And they will focus on that kill. They will not plant the bomb. SK make it 8 to 1. The Danes let one round slip. That's all that was able or that was possible for Panthers so far. The Norwegian squad having trouble on all ends. They don't have map control. They don't have any control over their economy. If they get rounds, it's just because one individual like Skirk stepped up and went in with the balls deep. Just going for the ninja defuse. And if Modi keeps doing what he does, as I said on Mirage, he wasn't performing too well on Mirage. But I said, well, you know, his teammates are doing the work, so he has the chance to warm up a little more. And that's what he did for sure. And look at that. Straight AK. Mark has no chance at all. Skirk and Polly on the A-bomb side. So far away from all the action. Even if they rotate, they will be alone. And how likely is a 5v2 clutch? Not really likely. Especially not if the frags happen as quickly as that. 9 to 1 now. SK shutting down another full rifle round for the CTs. And remember, Panthers picked that map. And that's how tremendously bad their economy game is at the moment. And that that was their chance in the sixth round. But it quickly got turned around again in favor of SK. A big factor is Magisk and also the, f the very good performance by Modi. Don't want to forget about the rest of the terrorists. But um, yeah, you can see Freeze is putting his weight as well. That's for sure. But overall, it's uh, it's Modi and Magus who stepped up now. Pimp with a double kill as well. He got a few of those in the past few rounds. And even though the AK is captured by Paint, they know where he is. They wait for him on the entrance and the exits. And Asylian will not let him escape with that. 10 to 1 now for SK.
They even need to start dropping weapons. Because Magus is getting too much money. He kind of loses money every single round because he is capped at 16k. Maybe he should start dropping weapons for Pim. Maybe SK need a weapon drop because they lose this round. But it once again starts off with Moddy shutting down the first CT on the B-bomb side. SK again with a man advantage. And the CTs have to retreat. They have no other option. If you're down a man or even down two men at the start of the round, what are you supposed to do on the CT side? You have to fall back first. Then you can go for some information because you have to, but you don't necessarily want to. Because every time you go for information, you risk losing another player. It's a really hard position for Pandas right now. At the same time, they have to keep their composure. They have to imagine they could still come back into this game, but... Four rounds to go, and this one doesn't look promising at all. Magus with a kill. Now Payne seems to be the only one that's able to put up some resistance. Maybe he can intercept the bomb from going down. Oh no, just in that second. And that's when you don't have luck. Bad luck comes on top of it. And that's what happened to Payne. As Cillian now puts down the Skirk. And Payne with a triple kill. Keeps his squad alive, but Polly is alone. Against the two terrorists. They have perfect positions. And as he jumps in, Pim will put him down. 11 to 1 in favor of the Danes. It looks impossible now. And I think impossible is almost an understatement still. London Conspiracy's record on Overpass was good, but they didn't play the strongest of the teams. 16 to 10 against Vex is maybe the best result they had. And I don't know why they picked this map. Maybe they feel even less confident on Dust 2. Definitely the map Vito played his role in this best of two so far. And as I was dribbling away about the map Vito and how bad Pandas is on overpass or how they are not too good. They managed to win a round in a 1v1 fashion. So again it got close. Freeze with a double kill. But the CTs are finally back on the board after six rounds. Okay, Skirk was looking for the orb, didn't see it though, and ended up with an AK instead. I think, I mean, that's just proving my point if you don't have any luck. Bad luck is not far away from you either. That's a German saying, by the way, that a football player came up with after a game. First we didn't have luck and then we had bad luck. That's what he said. Uh, Skurik goes down to Magisk. This time around it wasn't bad luck. It was good flash timing. And there wasn't anything that Skurik would have been able to do about it. Mystic goes down to Asylian as well. And again, it's a 5v3. SK is back to where they were the most time here. Mark is able to pick off Modi though. Now it's up to Asylian and Pim to work together on B. Turn the right. Look at that reaction straight on the head of paint. Mark goes down to his ceiling in the meantime, and the bomb gets carried in by Freeze. It's only Polly who stands between SK and another successful. Let's break their economy again by letting them win a round and then kill them all. Polly works his way back. Now they know where he's coming from. And there are only two different approaches. He fakes to go for Monster, then sneaks his way back. Maybe throws the terrorist off a little bit. Ah, oh, Magus is there and he doesn't miss those shots. 12 to 2. SK looking so strong now. They had trouble on Mirage on their own map pick. Which is quite surprising to me. Because I thought that if Mirage is as close as it is, Panthers must have put in some work on Overpass. To make it even closer. But the economy played a big role in this matchup. SK did a very good job of shutting out the CTs. They didn't let too many rounds slip. They didn't give away any eco rounds or any 
mistakes. Generally speaking, SK barely made any mistakes. Modi came up big with a few really sick clutches. 1v3s. I think two of them in the game. And this is the last round of this first half on the second map. It doesn't look too well either. Paint already tagged by a Zillion. SK is just on point as well with their aim. Sometimes there is no other way to put it. Sometimes the team with the better aim will prevail. And this time around, it's a combination of everything. Better timing, better clutches, better aiming, better economy, better tactics so far as well. And maybe even better team play, which doesn't really get shown because SK usually... Oh, Moddy, look at Moddy, look at Moddy! Yes, he gets it! <laughs> Oh, that was not necessary, but it was a lot of fun for Modi, that's sure. 14 kills for Modi, Pimp with 15. And the scoreboard on the CT side is all mixed up. Tells you how unimportant kills are. <coughs> they are sometimes. Sometimes they aren't. They are surely important on a piss around. So usually we end up with one team being eliminated. And the team that wants to keep themselves from being eliminated is Panthers. But they start off with the first man disadvantage, Modi. Who else but Modi with the opening frag. Magnus is there to get a second for the CTs. And again, it's a slippery slope for Panthers. They don't have anything to hold on to. And Magnus is there to close out another one. It's just... Backstabbing coming in as well. Modi from behind. I run out of things to say about this game because SK is doing everything the most perfect way. They got the first frag on the B bomb site. So the first, the initial approach of the terrorist gets shut down. Then they rotate back. They lose a man over here. Then they stay there and the CTs rotate guys in there. The exchange ends in favor of the team that has the more manpower and also the better angles. And the terrorists couldn't cover all of those different angles. So, you know, SK had an easy time mopping them up. Maybe Panthers can work their way back here. They have four Tech Nines. This is the perfect weapon to make this surprisive comeback. They make it a 3v4 at least. Polly getting his hands on the SMG as well. Let's see if he can use it to full effect as well. Gets peaked by Magus. Now has to wait for his teammate, but Magus trying to help him out. But as he goes in there, he gets picked off by Magus. No, actually was Freeze. And SK with 12, no, 13 map points and also 13 2 to 0 points against a very deflative looking Panthers squad. The ex London Conspiracy. Just uh, got caught on the wrong foot, I guess. No offense to them. I really like the bunch of guys. I've casted so many games with them throughout the years. But um, today, it's just not working out for them. Sometimes those are the, the weird games that you end up losing. And you look back at them and you don't really want to watch the demo anyway. Because you know, well, everything went wrong, guys. Let's not talk about that anymore. Look at that mystic. Plants a bomb, gets the frag still while burning alive, and then he gets naded again. And then it's Magus on the 1v1, putting him down, making it 16 to 2. 24 kills for Magus. And if he would have been trolling, he would have let the bomb explode to make Panthers come back to the server, but he wasn't. Good play by the Danes of SK Gaming, shutting down their opponents. Overall, good game by both teams. The first map was way more interesting than the second. I hope you enjoyed the show. We will be back with more action in the next few days. Because, as you can see in the brackets, the EU group stage have just kicked off with the first game in Group A and now the first game in Group B. The first one was a draw between Torpedo and their opponents. Now we have Group B with Panthers and SK going down to 2-0. Two, two and, yeah, I will, uh, wait a second, looking for it, there we go.
Torpedo, Vexed, Pixel Fire, Hellraisers, Copenhagen Wolves and Alternate in Group A. While we have Group B consisting of Penta, SK, Panthers, Flipside, Efrag and Go Lounge Gaming. So we have a really good lineup of teams here in the Counter Pit League Season 2. I hope to see you around next time. It might be Meadows Casting or any of our good friends. I hope you enjoyed this cast. If you did so, please drop a follow to Counterpit and also to Daboo TV.